Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert this lantern that runs off three AA batteries into one that will run off of lithium batteries and has a USB charger. So all you need is two 18650 cell and a TPS4056 um, circuit board battery protection. It's a charger and battery protection. And it costs less than $1. Let's get started. Very nice uh, little lantern that I got from um, <clears throat> Harbor Freight. They were on sale for about 4 to $5. And they're very bright uh, for lighting up a small area. Um, very compact, easy to use. You pull it out turns on close it turns off and this thing is powered by um, three double-a uh, batteries and these are put out about 1.5 so three in the series that's four and a half volts um, you know the, these batteries are about 1.5 amp hours which really probably only will last about two hours so what I want to do is replace these cells with lithium cells. These are 18650 cells. Um, these are full charge is 4.2 volts, which is equivalent to all three of these in series. And this has a capacity of roughly anywhere between you know, two to three um, amp hours. So my plan is to actually put two of these together in parallel. So it's 1S, 2P and put it in there just like that so let me show you how i did that okay so let's take this apart take the batteries out there's four screws this piece comes out okay so the way it looks is that's what it looks like from inside. So when you pull this out, it turns on. So there's a nice LEDs. There's one, two, three LEDs. Close this again, look at it. So what I was, what I was thinking is um, put the batteries in such a way where it's like that, okay? Um, so I don't really need this, so I plan to um, get rid of this, but there is a switch right here that I want to keep, and these are, this switch works like this. When it's depressed, it's off. When you pull it out, it opens up and it connects the circuit, and it turns on. So I want to keep this piece, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these, I'm going to cut cut clip those and then clip all the way down and just only keep this part of this plastic including these screws and this body here and the way that works is it's going to press against this um spring there which turns it on and off so basically i'm only keeping this part and throwing away the rest of this all right This is the micro B charging port. Here the uh, B plus and B minus goes to the battery pack and the out plus and out minus goes to the load, which is the um, light bulb. Here's a more detailed look at the uh, TP4056 circuit board. I use Keflon tape to protect the circuit board and then I use hot glue to secure the micro USB in place. So here we got a bunch of wires. Um, this here goes to the battery. This is the uh, battery plus and battery uh, minus that goes into the circuit board. Um, and then from, from the circuit board, you have a um, an out plus and an out minus. So these are, these are these two wires right here. Okay. And then 
This red wire is the um, plus from the um, bulb and the, the negative that goes straight to the bulb. So I'm gonna connect the, the bulb plus together like that. And then that leaves with two remaining wires, which are these two. And these will be um, connected um, to this switch that came with the uh, lantern. Okay, okay. So here's it all soldered up. Okay, so let's make battery pack. So the first thing I do is um, need is um, two batteries. I'm making a um, 1S 2P. These are recycled cells from laptop batteries. I tested these. These still put out 17 milliamp hours, 1650 milliamp hours. So they're pretty decent for this application. Um, so I'm going to connect these in parallel, positive, positive, negative, negative. So two cells. And I have, um, this is a 12 gauge wire that we use in flux. Okay, so I'm going to put some flux on these end terminals. And I'm also going to put a little bit of flux on the battery. And I'm going to wipe off the excess. Just to put some solder directly onto the battery itself. Okay. That's all you need. Just a really quick. Like that. Okay. You're going to do both ends. Just like that. Put a solder, use something to hold it because this thing will get hot. Okay. And on this side, a little easier. And you want to press that down a little bit like that. go pretty much it this time I'm gonna hit it one more time perfect see that's not going anywhere now flip it over do the positive There you go. That there is a 1S 2P, positive, negative. Now I have my connector. Connect it either side here, like that, and then this one this side. here that's it on my battery pack so now that I have my battery pack well um, we could actually test this by connecting this like that okay now I open this it should turn on sure enough it does awesome that turns it off. So it does work. So I'm gonna wrap these cells up with Keflon tape to protect it.
black paint. Okay. It's good enough. And so this will hook up like this. Okay. And it'll fit underneath like that. Okay. There you go. I hope you enjoy this project. I think it's great. And so when the bag gets low, stick a uh, mini USB in there and charge it. That's it. See you next time. <sighs> so to uh, charge it, I just use a micro USB. You can see the um, there's a red light you can see that's charging and so when it's fully charged it would turn green and that's how you would charge it it's full there you go